emperor's new hair based on the emperor's new clothes. Once there was a very powerful emperor. He ruled over a huge land, but there was something that he was secretly embarrassed about. He didn't have one single hair on his head. The emperor felt that he needed to wear wigs. He had more than a hundred of them in a special closet. They were the finest wigs and could easily be mistaken for real hair. One day, a traveling salesperson showed up at the emperor's castle with a very unusual product. What are you selling today? Make it quick, because I have a huge empire to run. Oh, great emperor. I'm tumbled here today with an amazing new product. I want to offer you the very first batch. It's called Her Today Magic Potion. It's just $19.99. And wait, that's not all. If you buy if you buy here, Her Today Magic Potion, I will also throw in a free comb. Why would I need it? As you can see, I have a full head of hair. Yes, your hair is very nice indeed. But perhaps you have a friend who would use this potion. I used to be bald myself, and as you can see, I do plenty of new hair thanks to the Hair Today Magic Potion. I'll take a hundred balls. It's from my bald friend, of course. <laughs> the Emperor began using Hair Today Magic Potion. Each night before he went to bed, he'd take off his wig, and put three drops of his on his very shiny head. Each morning, he talked to his two advisors, Mr. Twiddle and Mr. Tweed. They were the only people the emperor trusted. He'd ask them if the Hair Today Magic Potion was working. Mr. Twiddle and Mr. Tweed wanted to make the emperor happy. They wanted to keep their jobs. So they told the emperor what they believed he wanted to hear. What do you think, my trusted advisors, Twiddle and Tweed? Do you think the potion is working? Oh, I do. I definitely notice the difference. Yes, you are starting to jug just a few hairs. Only a few? Well, when I say a few, I mean like maybe 20. Or maybe 50. They're very nice looking hairs. <laughs> yes, I see them too. The emperor continued to use the potion, and his two trusted advisors continued to tell him that the potion was working. As the days went by, they began to tell more and more extravagant lies to the emperor. Soon they even began to believe the lies themselves. Tell me, my trusted advisors, how do I look today? Is the potion working yet? Is it working? Are you kidding? You have grown a thick head of beautiful hair. Yes, your hair is thick and straight and brown. Well, I would say it's more wavy than straight and more golden than brown. Well, you have a lot of it. It's thick, no question. You, yes, you can throw away your wigs. You don't need them anymore. In fact, if I do say so myself, Emperor, you need a haircut. A haircut? How wonderful. My hair is long and thick and black and curly. Actually, it's golden and wavy. So it's long and thick and golden and wavy. And shiny. And shiny. It's long and thick and golden and wavy and shiny. And I need a haircut. Best they me the Imperial hairdresser at once. Twiddle and Twee ran off to find the imperial hairdresser. When they found the hairdresser, they described the emperor's new hair in great detail. By now, they were so caught up in their lie that they completely believed it themselves, and soon they had the imperial hairdresser convinced that the emperor had long, thin, golden, wavy hair that needed to be cut. Oh, emperor, what a fine head of hair you have. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Right now, there's a bit too much of it. It's just a little too long and thick and golden and wavy and shiny. It will be a pleasure to trim it. I will make you look fabulous. <laughs> the imperial hairdresser set to work with scissors and a comb. The haircut required many hours of snipping and clipping and fussing and worrying and blow drying. But at last, the imperial hairdresser was finished. Well, what do you think? Maybe just a little bit more off the back. The imperial hairdresser carefully clipped the scissors near the back of the emperor's head. Now, what do you think? Perfect. What a great style. Everyone in the kingdom will want to get the same haircut. You look fabulous, emperor. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a great to show off your new hairstyle. Yes, it will be inspiring for the people to see an emperor with, the, with hair that's so long and thick and golden and way to be in shiny. And so Twiddle and Twee arranged an elaborate parade. There were jugglers and soldiers and horses. At the tail end of the parade,
parade, the emperor marched proudly. He wasn't wearing his crown. He wanted everyone to gaze at his wonderful new hairstyle. As he passed through his empire, Twiddle, Twee, and the imperial hairdresser called out to the townspeople. Everyone, behold the emperor's new hair. Look at how golden it is, and look at how thick it is. The emperor looks fabulous. Have you ever seen such fabulousness before? The emperor's hair is long and thick and golden and wavy. And shiny. The emperor's hair is very shiny. He doesn't have any hair. The emperor's hair is fabulous. The emperor's hair is fabulous. The emperor's hair is fabulous. Can you people see the emperor doesn't have any hair on his head? The emperor doesn't have any hair? but he was also glad that someone was honest enough to tell him. He called for the little boy to come out of the crowd. Little boy, you're the only one who's brave enough to tell me the truth. Well, you still are very handsome, Emperor. You look cool enough to Thank you. That's very kind. The Emperor asked the little boy to walk beside him in the parade. The little boy became a trusted advisor and true friend to the Emperor. The Emperor stopped using magic hair growth potions. He gave away his wigs to a family of traveling circus clowns. From that point forward, the Emperor worked to run his empire kindly and wisely. No one cared that he didn't have any hair. In fact, most people thought he looked quite handsome. Twiddle and Twee even shaved their heads to look just like the Emperor. <laughs>